Hey everybody, welcome to another uh, tutorial for uh, church, what is this thing called? The church video, yeah, church video mix pot, right? Isn't that what I'm calling it? Anyway, whatever it's called, that's that's not really important. Although, it, well, it is, it is somewhat important because if you don't know what it is, then, uh, well, that's not a good thing. Uh, what what I have for you today, tonight, actually, is uh, another tutorial, but this time in After Effects. This is After Effects. I'm trying to keep these... Here's my idea with these tutorials, is that I want to keep them geared more toward the local church volunteer. And um, not that I don't want to focus on, like, full-time church media staff people and and professionals out there. I do. Um, but so the other tutorials were geared more toward, you know, you're kind of new to editing, you want to get into editing a little bit more. This one's a little bit more geared toward those of you out there who are maybe new to After Effects, or maybe you know After Effects, you just want to learn more about it and how to, you know, take your, I don't know, your video stuff, your motion graphics stuff to another level. Or possibly if you are really good at motion graphics, you want to bring them back a level. You're like, you know what? I'm too good at this. I'm going to watch one of Jason's tutorials and learn how to, you know, not be quite as good. So wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, hopefully this will uh, help you. Here's what we're going to be creating, creating, creating today. This little thing right here. Um, I just did this a uh, uh, few minutes ago. Just Actually, what I was going to do with this tutorial was show you how to create some cool text effects within After Effects. And um, while I do like this text effect, I ended up creating this whole little design thing. So I thought, well, I'll just show you how to create this because it'll show you how to, you know, how to use textures, which is another tutorial I wanted to do. So this will be kind of, I don't know, a few tutorials in one, although I, I do want to focus more on, you know, just how to get cool text in After Effects and then how to use textures in After Effects. So let's jump right into it and see if I can recreate this. We'll see. I'm going to start with a new composition here in After Effects. And again, I'm not going to go over like how to use After Effects. This is assuming you already know at least some of the basics of After Effects. But uh, if not, hopefully you'll learn something here. So uh, new composition. This is how you start something new. You get a composition, new composition. And I'm creating this uh, 800 by 450, which is just, it's a widescreen 16 by 9 format. It's just a little bit smaller to save on processing power square pixels and I'm just making this uh, five seconds although we probably won't even use that let's just make it three okay so here's our new composition and uh, let's see the first thing we want to do is bring in uh, some of these elements now what I'm using here I, I have some assets here that I will uh, put on the website for you uh, www.jasoncalhoun.info just go to the free section um, some of these are already in here like you can grab this light leaks and this real 8 millimeter film already on there. Um, and I think some of these textures are on there actually also. But feel free to use whatever textures you have. So I'm just going to grab this frame window. This is going to be the first one that I'm going to add in here. And uh, kind of build everything around this. Okay, so I'm going to stretch this. Just make it uh, fill up the screen there. That looks pretty good. And then uh, first thing I'm going to do is... I want this to be like a window. I want to be able to look through this and make this be like the frame and this be transparent. I want to look through this and build everything inside of this. There's a few ways we can do this. We could do it with maybe some uh, you know, different composite modes or something like that. But what I'm just going to do is mask out this area and basically delete this white. Easiest way to do that is you come up here to this uh, rounded rectangle tool. Now. If I have nothing clicked, nothing selected, and I click on this and I drag and I make a rectangle, it's going to build a shape for me, which is cool. Um, that's kind of what we're going to do, um, except I want to do it in with a clicked. <laughs> I want to do it with this frame selected. When I do that, it's going to mask out this white area. And you can see if I hold down over this, it gives me a few options. I have a rectangle. This is just a, a rounded rectangle tool. And uh, you can see it got rid of the outside and left the inside. That's not what we want to do. We want to do the opposite. So we're just going to check this little box here, inverted. Check. Check it out. Wasn't that cool? Uh, I'm lame. So we still have a little bit of white edges here. So if we just drop down this uh, menu in our mask, we can expand out 
the uh, the mask a little bit to you know get rid of some of that white. And then we also want to.